Welcome to another video. I am the Starman. Now then, I've got a bit of a moon uh, tutorial for you today. Um, so what I want to do in this video is I just want to talk a little bit about the moon and how you can get some good photographs of it. I'll just show you where I am. I'm actually in Lytham in Lancashire, just down the road from where I live, up in Blackpool. It's quite posh around here, you know. I'm just going to show you now. Let's have a look around. Okay, so this is Lytham Green here and there's the famous windmill over there and one of the reasons why I've come down here is because if I was at home I'd really struggle to get to see the moon from my garden because it's in just an awkward place and I've got all sorts of things in the way and you can see it there now you can see the moon now it's in a waxing gibbous phase at the moment and that's ideal for taking photographs of it and getting detail on those craters and the mountain ranges and I'll talk about that a bit later on. I'm going to go down here onto the jetty, which goes out into the estuary, and I'll set my camera up down there, and then I'll go through what we're going to do to get a decent picture of the moon. Okay, I'll just lock the star bus. Saying that, I think it's pretty safe around here. I could probably leave it to unlocked. Anyway, I'm going to head down onto the jetty now. And as I go down there, I'll talk a little bit about the moon and how shooting it in different phases, what type of photographs you can get. So I did mention that the moon tonight is in a waxing gibbous phase, and that means that the moon is getting brighter. It means that it's waxing and it's heading towards a full moon. And currently, tonight, I'll just show you the moon again, it's getting brighter. It's around about 80% full, and that's pretty good because um, when you're shooting the moon before it's a full moon, you get the shadow coming across on the left-hand side between the lit part and the dark part, and that shadow is called the terminator. And uh, where the terminator, or close to the terminator, you get some really nice shadows off all the craters, the mountain ranges and things like that on the moon and it, that makes for a really nice photograph as well now a lot of people say oh you really want to photograph a full moon well it's nice to photograph a full moon and if you saw my video a few you know, i think it was the first of october the first moon of october which was shot from this very jetty and that was a full moon now i got it coming up just over there over the mountain it was a really really good photograph but the problem with a full moon is if you're just shooting the full moon, you don't get any um, shadow detail coming off any of the craters because and that's because the sun is directly on top of it from our perspective. You know, the moon is opposite the sun in the sky and that means that you don't get any shadow detail. So that's why it's better to shoot the moon if you want to get the detail in the craters, when it's between about half, a half moon and around about what it is tonight, I would say, around about 80 to 90%, you can pick up the detail in those craters and the um, Copernicus, which is a large crater in the middle. We'll, we'll see that a bit later on. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So I'm just gonna go down here now. I've got a friend down here at the end of the jetty and I'll uh, set my camera up. Okay, so I just wanna show you what uh, lens I'm using. I'm using this old 300mm f4 lens. It's pretty old but it's a really really good lens and I've got that on my Nikon D850. Now if you're taking a picture of the moon really you want something like a minimum of a 300mm lens re realistically. Um, you might have a something bigger than that like a Sigma, one of those Sigma 500, you know the 200 to 500 or something like that. You know well those would be ideal at the uh, outer range of the zoom so anything like if you've got anything like that or, or a minimum of a 300 millimeter lens that's ideal so anyway let's go and have a look and and see how the moon looks on the screen hey you know what uh, just looking towards southport over here and um, there's a red light shining up from the ground onto the clouds all the clouds are lit up red it looks amazing i'm just going to take a photograph now and show you what i mean check this out wow look at that the photograph really really brings it out but we can see this red light shining up from the ground over there 
Uh, amazing. Wonder what it is. Right, okay, so I'm now looking at the back of my camera and you can see there I've got the moon in the screen. Now it might look a bit overexposed to you, but if I can just get this exposure right, we can see. Now then, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a picture now. I'll take a picture now and I'll put it on the screen so you can see it a bit easier. Now we do have some clouds rolling across, uh, so it kind of makes the moon look a little bit dirty. Um, so we're just waiting for these clouds to move out of the way, but you can see there on the left hand side of the moon where the Terminator comes down um, how that um, the low sun on that part of the moon creates those long shadows so that you can see um, the craters much more easily. Well I'll tell you what we've had a really nice sunset here in Lydham. This is the Ribble Estuary and it was uh, bright orange before now it's getting pretty dark. Anyway, we're just waiting for the moon to come out of this cloud. There's a little bit of cloud up there. So I'll take another photograph of it when it comes out of the cloud. And actually, we've got Mars up there as well in the sky. I don't know if you can see it on the, ca on the camera here, but uh, Mars is just up to the left of the moon tonight. Okay, so the moon has now just come out of the cloud and we've got a pretty clear shot now i'm going to take this shot now because it, there's some more cloud coming in now the settings are 180th of a second at f8 and i'm on iso 160. just using the cell timer to take the photograph now then let's have a look at this now let's have a look how are we doing let's bring it into the middle how does this look oh look at that I'm going to show that shot on the screen now so you can have a better look. Ah, uh, we, we found out what the red light is. A friend of mine told me it's tomatoes, they're growing tomatoes and these red light, the red light is coming from these special lights they use to grow tomatoes, somewhere near Southport I think. Anyway, they've gone off now. Right, okay, so I'm now showing you the actual video from my DSLR. Uh, my battery died on my uh, one of my cameras, so I thought I'd, I'd do this instead. So I'm just going to zoom into the moon. Now then, look at this. Hey, that's amazing. Oh, we've got a big cloud going across now. So anyway, there you go. Uh, I managed to get a photograph of the moon, a nice photograph, and uh, showing the uh, how you get a good picture of the moon when it's at this stage in its phase to be able to get detail in those craters on the left-hand side. So I hope it's been of a help to you. And uh, if you manage to get out and take a picture yourself, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think of the video in the comments. And uh, I'll be doing many more videos like this one. Let's see, the moon's starting to disappear now. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, right on cue. So, yeah, so if you like the video, hit the like button. And also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again next time.